Has Cassandra spoken to you about my new recruits? They are not your recruits, Commander. They're ours. The elite of the Templars are ready, Herald. Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. We cannot... Focus past the Herald. Let her will draw from you. Solus confirms the heavens are scarred but calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. You know how many were involved. Luck put me at the center. A strange kind of luck. I'm not sure if we need more or less. But you're right. This was a victory of Alliance. One of the few in recent memory. With the breach closed, that alliance will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! What the... We must get to the gates! What threat could the ground hold? You've already conquered the sky. I'll help here. You get to Cullen. He'll know what we can do. Cullen? One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? Someone could open this, I'd appreciate it. Ah, I'm here to warn you. Fashionably late, I'm afraid. Might exhaust it. Don't mind me. There you are. I came to tell you what happened with the mages at Redcliffe. 
You're not going to like it. They are under the command of the Venatori, in service to something called the Elder One. The woman is Calpurnia. She commands the Venatori. That, the Elder One. They were already marching on Haven. I risked my life to get here first. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Soldiers, gather the villagers. Fortify and watch for advanced forces. Inquisition, with the Herald. For your life, for all of us.
can't face it here. We have to do something. Everyone to the gates. to the Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. Haven must evacuate to the Chantry!
Someone hurts. Another death, dear. It's your shelter! A brave man. He stood against a Venatori. Briefly, I am no Templar. Herald, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. There has been no communication, no demands. Only advance after advance. There was no bargaining with the mages either. This Elder One takes what it wants. From what I gathered in Redcliffe, it marched all of this way to take your herald. If it will save these people, he can have me. An assassin might take you up on that, but this force has not seemed concerned about specifics. And such a promising start with the landslide. <laughs> If only trebuchets remained an option. They are, if we turn the last of them to the mountains above us. We're overrun. 
To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. This is not survivable now. The only choice left is how spitefully we end this. Well, that's not acceptable. I didn't race here only to have you drop rocks on my head. Should we submit? Let him kill us? Dying is typically a last resort, not first. For a Templar, you think like a blood mage. There is a path. You wouldn't know it was there unless you'd made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could tell you. A Canberian army stop them from following. But that thing is flying. You have been his target since you took the Templars. So long as you're here, the rest may be beneath his notice. Leaving you no escape. Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition! Follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you.
After this action, we must aim the siege engine. Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken, no more. Whatever you are, I'm not afraid. Words mortals often hurl at the darkness. Once they were mine, they are always lies. Know me, know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. 
You will kneel. You'll... you'll get nothing out of me! You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Geralt. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you was touched, what you flail at rifts. I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you used the anchor to undo my work. The gore. Why did the Divine die? For this chaos? The chaos will empower me and ensure we no longer beg at the feet of the invisible. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own to champion Wither to Vinter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. The anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. You expect us to surrender and kneel. We will not. You'll face us all. When we choose!
it's cold. Nothing. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. They've been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. If they're arguing about what we do next, I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand, and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear, and the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. Thank you. 
An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. The humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline. Worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. Didn't you see? The people trust me implicitly. Faith tends to make martyrs of its champions. Whatever the case, that trust cannot grow in the wilderness. You will need every advantage. By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it, changed you. Scout to the north, be their guide. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? This all began with Andraste's blessing. It was that simple. Yet did her blessing grant you worthiness? Or was it given because you were already worthy? Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader, the one who has already been leading it. You.
I don't know what to say. Say that you will not make me regret this. If you're not sure, why do it? Because I believe this is what was meant to be. That without you, there would be no Inquisition. What it means for the future, how you lead us, that is entirely up to you. Our concern must be the order and safety of this world, not the next. I'm not chosen. I have chosen. And I will lead us to victory. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. When you were at Therenfall, you uncovered a plot to kill Empress Selene. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he's growing. The Envy Demon gloated about a massive force of demons. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. This is the Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with backyard soldiers. If you shut your... Now, what did they make down here? What was this place? So much room for... whatever was here.
Sister Leliana will want access to the birds. Get the cages up here. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 